Welcome guys, here we are in the 8th day of our Computer Fundamental course. Today I am going to show you the ground plane detection feature of Vuforia. We will not code anything, just use the default classes and behavior offered by Vuforia. But in the next class, we will dive deep into it and write our own code. Okay, so first of all, you have to configure your Unity project like we did in our other projects. Like you have to create a air camera add the license key in the Vuforia configurations and uh, switch on the Vuforia controls in the player settings and things like that. Next, we need two things. A stage on which our augmented object will be placed. So think this as an anchor for the floor uh, or the ground plane. Okay, so this stage will be placed on the ground and on the top of the stage will be our augmented object. Next, we will need a plane finder. So this plane finder has some script attached to it. So it will automatically uh, just help Vuforia to detect a plane or a ground. So after you add this to game object to your project, next we have to place the model you want to augment on the top of the ground plane. You have to make sure that it perfectly land on the top of the stage and make it the child of the plane stage object. Now finally, we have to drag and drop the plane uh, ground plane stage component on this control positional behavior. Now if I build this project and uh, just see in the device, it will work perfectly fine. But uh, before building the APK, let's look into some of the properties of the plane finder behavior. So the first variable in the plane indicator is a vertical actually or an indicator which will be placed by the system on the ground surface if a ground is detected. So that means it helps to find out where you are going to place your object on the plane. For now, we are going to use the default indicator provided by Unity that is a rectangular shaped uh, indicator but if you know how to uh, make your own indicator with Photoshop you can easily make those things and just drag and drop that image on the prefab and you can just um, use your own radical or indicator so I'm gonna cover this thing in the next tutorial I hope so we're gonna make our own um, radical and use that radical or indicator whatever in the next tutorial okay next there is this mode which is automatic or interactive and there is this event handler for both of this mode. The automatic mode periodically performs the hit test while the interactive mode performs the hit test only there is some user input. For example, for our case we are going to tap on the screen and there should be some kind of hit. Just think it as a recast hit. Again, I am going to discuss all this uh, thing in the next tutorial that how these things actually work under the hood but for now just think of it as a ray cast hit so when you tap on the screen it will throw a ray it will detect the ground and bingo there will be some kind of detection and it will place the augmented object on the top of the stage so that is this two mode thing and finally there is this height so this height is actually the assumed height of the camera from the ground okay okay Great. So now you can build your project and you'll see the ground plane detection is working just fine. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next class where we should write our own scripts to get an in-depth idea of the methods of the ground plane detection.